Hey, welcome back to Lifeline Apostolic Church. It is so awesome to have everybody join us back to, everybody say it, Did, Did You Know? Again, so uh, thank you for joining us back to Did You Know today. Uh, again, we had an awesome time last week and we are joined back this week to talk a little bit about more about the Bible and to give some different ideas. I would like to say before we start this, this is a shout out to Sister Jan. Sister Jan, we may or may not be talking about something you uh, mentioned a couple weeks ago. So, oh, yeah. did you know? Uh, yes. So today, what we're actually going to do is we're going to talk about, drum roll, angels. We're going to talk about angels. What a, better, what a better thing to talk about in the house of God than angels. So did you know that your Bible is full of information about angels? Did you know that it did not tell their names very much? Only, Only a handful. Number. And how about Daisy tells us yeah. about that today? Um, my first one is fallen angels. How many other angels were there? How many angels were there? Um, there were three angels. Um, there were Lucifer. Lucifer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, well. Exactly. So, uh, the, the <laughs> so one of them was a fallen angel. So let's go ahead and talk about the fallen angel. The Daisy. devil was cast out out of heaven with his angels because he was just stupid. <laughs> Amen. That is absolutely <laughs> true. He was just absolutely stupid. That was very true. And his angels. Yeah. Did you know? He got really jealous because he didn't have as, as much power as God. Yep. He had no power. Now he does. That and he thought he was just so beautiful. Yep. Yeah. But he ugly. <laughs> yep. He yeah. looks like a foot. Yeah. Uh, 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 he looks so like a foot. Alright, Daisy, what else you got? I got um <laughs> and that was in Revelation twelve and twenty two. 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 Twelve and is that they never got married. Huh. True. So define that. Um, that is in Matthew 22 and 30. Matthew 22 and 30. Well, Let's see what that says, Daisy. <laughs> Matthew 22 and 30 says this. Matthew 22 and 30 says... For in the resurrection, they neither marry or are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. Yeah. Good job, Daisy. Good job, Daisy. Nice. Did you know angels? Nice. Again, that was absolutely awesome. Daisy, do you have anything else? Uh, no. So there was only three angels that were mentioned in the Bible by name. Yep. So the rest of the, the series that we talk about today is we talk about did you know? It's different things about angels. That the Bible talks about. So, how about we go to Mr. Keaton? Keaton, talk really loud so everybody can hear you. <laughs> did you know? Uh, did you know that uh, well, I have uh, angels of breath and uh, Genesis Ooh. one and nineteen. Uh, Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed by uh, angels of breath. Yes, and, the uh, angels did come in and destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, pull the lot out, true, true. carry them. And Second uh, Samuel twenty four sixteen. Uh, an angel was going to destroy Jerusalem, but it was stopped by God. No. Yes, that is absolutely true. What are we talking about, Daisy? Oh, I'm talking about angels. We're talking about angels? No. Oh, okay. Daisy. All right, Kate, carry on. She said, and the angels smote Aaron of uh, Jerusalem. Okay. Yeah. 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 And the angels smote Aaron of Agrippa. Aaron Agrippa, yes. I don't really know how to say that. And worms ate him. So that is absolutely true. Yeah, so the worms. The, the worms. Okay, yeah. okay. okay. So I heard, heard. I thought that was worms. When you said worms, worm, I pictured a worm, a small worm eating whole human. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I want to picture a huge worm. Because worms are like, they they just a like the heart of the teeth. Yeah, yeah he got worms in his belly and that killed him. Y'all are thinking these big worms come flying off. Fine. It must be a bunch of worms. It hasn't been a bunch. They come yeah. to you. Open your mouth. They completely consume you. <laughs> Open your mouth. 
So angels of wrath, did you know you do not want to be on the side of the angels of wrath? No. I fish with worms, but I don't want them eating me. No, <laughs> Alrighty, so angels, did you know? Ashley. Uh, did you know that there are reapers, angel reapers? Now, it's not like the Grim Reaper. It's like the first <laughs> when I first heard that, I was like, but they're, they're uh, pretty much his workers. They reap the harvest. Oh. Um, it's in Mark 13 and 27. And then shall he send his angels and shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven. And then also Matthew 13 and 30. Let both grow together until harvest, and in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Nice. My barn. All right. So, uh, wow. So, so the angels will come through and they will, uh, what are they, red barn? <laughs> and then Matthew 13 and 39, the enemy that sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world and the reapers are the angels. Wow. Wow. So the harvest is the end of the world and the reapers are the angels. So the angels, angels are the one that reaps it. Exactly. So the angels will be will be doing the reaping. And, and you know, that's an absolutely interesting fact, you know, and talking about angel reapers uh i, I definitely don't, i want to be on the good side i yeah. want to be the ones that mm -hmm. they're reaping uh, especially for heaven you know I, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, again did you know there's angels that we un, that we attend unaware sometimes we don't even realize that we're actually speaking when you first of angels think about, you only think about those three angels in the bible then you think about you know guardian angels and stuff like that yeah. it's all you really think about it, but when you really study into it, it's a lot. Exactly. Say mine isn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, you're not supposed to. All right, here we go. Because it's what we think about. Bridget, did you know angels? So, did you know there is a lot of instances that uh, an angel appeared to man? So, I'm just going to speak it through because there's a lot of scriptures. If you got a Thompson chain, go in the back and look up angels, you will see multiple, multiple, multiple. If you don't got a constant so, yeah, yeah. chain, get one. They're all. Think about it. I love them. Think, think about different They're really hard to break in, but I love them. <laughs> so the first one I'm going to talk about is in uh, Genesis 32. So I'm going to read Genesis 32 and 24. So let me get to it. It says, And Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel, for a prince hast thou power with God in them. In them. I want to make sure I was up around. Then and has prevailed. And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee, thy name. And he said, Wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there. And Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, for I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. And as he passed over Peniel, the sun rose him, and he halted upon his thigh. Therefore the children of Israel eat not of the sinew which shrank, which is upon the hollow of the thigh. Until the day, because he touched the hollow of Jacob's thigh in the shoe. Okay, so we're basically it. going to get this fact right. Jacob actually wrestled with an angel. Yeah, that's yes. right. Wrestled with an angel. Yes. And prevailed. Yes. According to the scriptures. Yes. But the angel would not give him his name. No. Or her name. Oh, so we could have known another angel's name if that had been. Exactly. Been and I yeah. didn't notice but that. Maybe there wasn't a lot to say. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? He wrestled with an angel <laughs> and prevailed. All right, Bridget, <laughs> your turn. He said, did you know? You got another one. Know? Did you know? What else? Okay, so I got another one. This one is in uh, Matthew uh, chapter 1, verse 20, but it also goes into chapter 2 and 13. So chapter 1, verse 20 says, But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and in a dream, saying, 
Joseph, thy son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. So you remember, you know, the birth of Jesus. So the angel come forth, and, and that's where the birth of Jesus come from, right? Right. Okay. So, and then we have... So chapter 2, verse 13 says... And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in the dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into e Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. Okay, so the angel appears several times to talk about the, the baby Jesus, so that's absolutely awesome. What else do you have, Bridget? So the last one I have, it is found in Matthew 28 and 2. So, if you remember me saying about the angel coming to Joseph, speaking, you know, about when Jesus was going to be born. Right. So, as you go through Matthew, you know, you start to see the events happen. So, in chapter 28, verse 2 in Matthew, it says, And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven, and came and rolled back the stone from the door, and sat upon it. So, an angel rolled back the stone... Jesus is yes, he did. So he, so he uh, basically prophesied or, or told Joseph and Mary they were going to have a child. And then you turned around after Jesus died and he rolled back the stone yes, so everybody could did. see that the resurrection had done happen exactly men couldn't that do it. That was very important. So very that important. angel was a very important angel. Oh, you think that he brought good news and then he turned around after the death of Jesus and brought good news again. Yeah. Rolled back the stone. Said, you know, it's, it's all set up. It's ready to go now. So check this out. I didn't know. He wasn't an angel of wrath. <laughs> he wasn't an angel of worms. No. He brought the good news. <laughs> Amen. But there's a lot of instances. So I say go in your Bible and look for him. Angels. Did you know? All right, Chloe. Did you know angels? Did you know that there are angels that watches over us? We call them guardian angels. A couple of scriptures that show us that God puts his angels over us are Psalms 91 and 11, Luke 4 and 10, and Matthew 18 and 10, and I'll, I'll read a couple of them. So, in Psalms 91 and 11, it says, For he shall give his angels charge over thee, and keep thee in all thy ways. And then I'll read one more, so I'll keep going. Luke, <laughs> say, hey, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Luke 4 and 10. Da, 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 da. For it is written, he shall give his angels charge over the PC. So, you got a guardian angel. Yeah. And, um, yeah, obviously they're called guardian angels because they guard us and they walk over us. And a couple instances in the Bible where angels were guarding is you got one uh, in Genesis 3 24, the angels were sent by the Lord to guard the flame of sword, which in return was guarding the tree of life. And, yeah, he said angels to guard over that. And then, well, I can't mention earlier about Solomon and Gomorrah. Lot, not only did he, um, the same story. Not only did the angels destroy Solomon yeah, and Gomorrah, but what else did he do, Chloe? He, he woke uh, Lot and his wife up, and like right before he done it, because right before he destroyed, God sent angels to destroy the city, as everybody knows, to sit on fire or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> And uh, they woke Lot and his wife, telling them to flee and not to look back. And so that's how they guarded, so that, yeah. guarded them. So, so not only was the angels there to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, but they were there, there to, to guard, to, protect, to guard them. protect Lot and, sure and deploy them out. The city they and understand this concept. Lot's wife would have got out, but her problem yeah, was she, she looked back. Look look back look because look. the angels told her not to look yeah. back. They, they specifically told her not to look back. Exactly. And then she, I guess, Sodom had a hold of her. So I've had a hold of her. I wonder if he's five of our name. I don't know. <laughs> well, they don't talk about very many angel names, so who knows, right? Did you know angels in the Bible? I thought all of those were absolutely awesome. What else do you have, Chloe? Yeah, I have one more. Okay. And also, talk, I'm going to talk about uh, Daniel also had angels with him in the lion's den. Mm -hmm. Actually, God put angels yes, in the lion's did. den to make sure the lion's did not devour them. What did Daniel say? He said, the Lord has sent the angels and closed the mouths of the lions. Yes, he did. Shut that. When them angels just shut that I was hoping nobody, I thought Bridget was going to do that one because she had the. I wanted to. Why didn't they get the white kid cats? Yeah, I was hoping nobody would do that. 
Yeah, so there's a lot of instances. Yeah. 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 All right, so I'm going to conclude the Did You Know About Angels in the book of Revelations. The book of Revelations, chapter 2, talks about seven churches. And those seven churches were the seven angels. It said the angel sent into the church of Ephesus. That was uh, the church of Ephesus was known as the active church. Uh, the angel of Smyrna was the poor and the rich church. The angel of Pergamos was the heretical church. The angel of the church of Tyrus there was the church of the false prophetess. And then the angel of Sardis was the dying church. And, and then the angel of the church of Lasdodiasis was the lukewarm, self-satisfied church. And the angel of the church of Philadelphia was the loyal church. That's what it is. Understand that, that the Bible said right there in the book of Revelation that he has somewhat against each one of these churches. So, you know, I, I, I want to be, you know, I want to be the kind of person and I, wanna, I, want, I want our church to be the kind of church that he doesn't have somewhat to say against us. Yeah. But it's like you're doing a great job. You're doing a wonderful job. You're helping people. You're, right. you're, you're, you're clothing them with my word and, and my desire. You know, I, when, the, when the angels come down and entertain unaware, I want them to see us giving and, and being right. honest and, and helping one another, not judging each other. Mm -hmm. But uh, practicing holiness and, and doing what's right in the eyes of God. Did you know the Bible talks so much about angels? Again, I do want to say thank you for joining Lifeline Apostolic Church. Don't forget to drop a comment, leave a thumbs up to us, and let us know how we're doing. And you may want to make some recommendations on a did you know because Sister Jan just got her did you know fulfilled. And Sister Jan, if you've got anything else to add, be sure to leave it in the comments. Again, thank you for joining in Lifeline Apostolic Church. Did you know it's been such a pleasure for you to be with us today? And we'll see you again on Sunday. God bless you and have a Bye. wonderful day. Bye.